What's even crazier is what the actual lipstick looks like. You guys aren't ready. Is this not the most insane lipstick you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> It's your girl Hey Paris here and today we're doing something a little bit different here on my channel I'm gonna be doing a makeup look with a makeup company that has caught my eye Specifically because of their lipsticks that are absolutely insane and I created this look So if you want to see the products that I use and see the amazing designs that Floracis has to offer Please continue to watch because you are about to lose your mind when you see these products and how amazing they work You see how my, my skin is glowing? Floracis is to thank for that. Keep watching. I have never ever laid my eyes on makeup that is so beautiful that I don't even want to touch it. I want to just frame it and put it on my wall and you'll understand exactly what I mean when I show you each product. They took the word luxury to a whole nother level. The story behind the brand is beautiful as well. I'm going to link everything that I use today in the description box down below as well as a direct link to Floracis' website so you can read their story and get to know them a little bit better. But enough rambling. Let's Let's get to it. So this is their You Wrong Chameleon Care Primer and this is their Nourishing Primer. So it helps with oil control, it's hydrating and also brightening. It has an easy to use pump. I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand just like that and apply it to my bare skin. Ooh, it has like a really beautiful iridescent glow to it. I've never seen a primer like this before. Ooh, it feels so soft and silky. It doesn't have a smell to it, which I love, but it does feel really, really lightweight and moisturizing. I could feel my skin being hydrated, which y'all know I have really, really dry skin. So that's always a plus. And it's actually absorbing really well. Like I just applied it and it already feels like it's drying down. But I love that it gives you like a really natural finish and I see absolutely no creasing either. So always a plus. So I just put my regular foundation over the primer. I just want to see how the primer settles and how it works with my foundation. And already I just love how lightweight the primer feels and how quickly and easily it absorbed in my skin. And it really did make the perfect base for my foundation. So that in itself is a great impression. Next, I'm going to use your floral eyebrow pencil in the color taupe to easily fill in my brows. Okay, and this is great because you actually get a refill with your eyebrow pencil. So you're basically getting two eyebrow pencils in one and I love anything that is refillable because you're saving product by just refilling it over and over again and this is the pencil itself so beautiful look at the design on one end you have the spoolie and on the other end you have the angled eyebrow pencil itself the tip is angled and it's supposed to be a really really smooth application so let me try it on my arm first really quick Ooh, okay that is really really smooth and i love that it's not too dark because my eyebrows are naturally really really thick as you guys can see sometimes i don't even have to fill them in but it's always good to just fill in the little patches that i have here and there like for instance right here needs to be connected Ooh, that is so smooth and nice this is about to be my go-to eyebrow pencil. I'm not even joking. It is literally the same color of my actual eyebrows, so I'm glad I chose this color. I have a bad habit of always getting eyebrow pencils that are way too dark for my eyebrows, but I will definitely be using this pencil from now on. And I could just use a spoolie to blend it in. Honestly, guys, this is working way better than I thought it would. It's almost shocking. The old eyebrow pencil I used to use has absolutely nothing on this okay let's keep going can i also just say this is probably like the heaviest eyebrow pencil i've ever held in my life like it's very very heavy it's giving luxury it's giving rich i love it next we are going to be doing an eyeshadow look obviously with their palette this is their floral engraving ode makeup palette and here is when the magic starts okay i can guarantee you you've never seen a makeup palette this beautiful in your entire life because when i opened this up and i looked at it i almost collapsed on the ground it is like artwork it's literally something that looks like it should be in a museum here she is in all of her glory is this not the most beautiful packaging you've ever seen in your life i cannot get over it even the back is pretty okay and it's in the shape of an oriental folding fan which i thought was really really cute but just wait until i open her up you are not gonna believe your eyes oh my gosh wait till i give you guys a close-up because 
This palette is engraved with art and beauty. But it's not just an eyeshadow palette, it's actually very multifunctional. So you can use it as a blush, you can use it as a highlighter and an eyeshadow palette. Just look at the engravings on this up close. This eyeshadow palette was actually inspired by a love story. And from the colors and the paintings, the pictures that are engraved, you can see the romantic theme that they were going for with this. I cannot get over how gorgeous this palette is. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of excited, but I'm going to swatch some of the colors for you guys so you can see the color payoff. But it's so pretty. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful it is through the camera, but me looking at it right here, right now, the details are insane. Like, I can see the hairs on the horse. I can see the texture of the sky. It's just gorgeous. I can't get over it. I don't even want to touch it. That's how pretty it is. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was not expecting that. That's crazy. So this is number two. Don't mind my nails, but let's swatch really quick. Wow. That is gorgeous. I want to see this brown. Wow. Ooh, that is so pretty. This one is number seven. That cute chocolatey brown. And then I want to try out one of these shimmers. Okay, shimmer. Oh, that is so beautiful. I can imagine that being a highlight right here. And this is number five. But let's see how I feel when I'm applying it on my actual face. But so far, the shadows feel really, really smooth, really silky. Like, you could just feel the high quality in all the products I've tried so far. I feel like I'm going to do, like, a really romantic smoky eye something that's just sultry and like sexy so let's do that i'm just gonna prep my eye first i'm just putting a eyeshadow base so that the colors pop a little bit more when i apply them you guys are probably like paris i'm not used to you talking this calmly like is everything okay yes everything is all right i'm just trying to vibe with the makeup I'm just trying to, you know, catch a nice relaxing vibe with you guys right here, right now. Where you can just sit back, relax, and watch me do my makeup. I don't think I've ever done a makeup review on this channel before. Or even a makeup look. But it was an absolute must when I saw these products in person. I was like, how can I not tell my subscribers? So now that I have my base ready to go, starting with number six. I'm just gonna blend number six above my crease. Oh my gosh, that's so smooth. This is probably like the smoothest eyeshadow I've ever used in my life, honestly. And you would think because like the engraving on the eyeshadow palette is there that the color wouldn't pick up on your brush, but I am pleasantly surprised. The design of this palette is amazing. The powder is easy to apply and it nourishes your skin while you're applying it from the inside out. And after application, it adheres to your complexion seamlessly without being powdery, so it's not chalky. And I love that it's very, very easy to blend and work with. And it is actually extracted from ingredients from floral essences, which nourishes your skin while you're putting on your eyeshadow, which is a two-in-one combo for your makeup. There is so much versatility in this palette. Because they have pinks, blues, reds, nudes, browns. You could do a really uppity, fun, playful look. Or you can keep it sultry and sexy. Okay, and there we have the really simple eyeshadow look. Next, I'm using their Pine Suit Lengthening Mascara. So this mascara has a feather bristle applicator with more than 1,000 fibers, which deliver a high-defined eyelash with an even coating. It's sweat-proof and waterproof. It's a high-definition mascara, so it actually keeps your lashes curled, and it's long-lasting and very natural-looking. So this is for you natural girls out there. I personally have really, really curly, short, short, short eyelashes, which is why I wear falsies a lot. But this mascara gave me a length I never knew that my really curly, short, short eyelashes never had. Let me show you guys the difference. This is my eye with the lengthening mascara. And this is my regular eye. You can't even tell that I have eyelashes, period. And here are both my eyes with the mascara on. Now, I know y'all have been looking at my lips like, Paris, when are you going to put some lip balm on? Oasis has this Ginseng Care Lip Balm. That is so luxurious. I just... Couldn't put it on without showing you guys. It comes with a metal spoon, and this is the actual product. Apply it on your lip. Oh, this is so smooth, wow. This lip balm is everything. It's weightless, it's breathable, and super, super, super moisturizing. This feels like luxury on my lips. 
It's, it feels luxurious. And it smells really good too. You could smell the ginseng. It has a very light, minty, tingly feeling that just feels really, really good on the lips. Next, I'm just gonna apply my concealer. I'm doing all this because I am getting myself prepared to see what Florasis' setting powder is going to do for my skin, especially since I have darker skin. And this is a Chinese-based company. So I wanna see how this is going to work out for me. I normally use a setting powder that's a lot lighter than my skin tone already, but I'm talking about like really yellow setting powders, like banana setting powders, where it's meant to brighten up under your eyes and all of that. So apparently this setting powder is Floracis's best-selling product. They make over $400,000 a month selling these. It is a staple for the entire brand. I got it in Jade number two, which is for light to medium skin tones. They also have two other colors, Snow and Mist. Snow being for people with lighter skin and Mist being a translucent powder for all skin types. There's absolutely no talcum powder in this product, which is always a plus. Here is the packaging, absolutely gorgeous. So you just twist it, lift it up, there you go. It comes with a cute little mirror, as well as a puff puff. I like to call these puff puffs. And I'm gonna use this on one side of my face just so I can see the difference. I'm just applying a generous amount under my eye. Everywhere where I put the concealer is where I'm gonna apply the setting powder. It is super, super lightweight, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. I think I picked the perfect color for this. Cause that is gorgeous. I don't see a line, a pore, anything on my face after I applied this. Now I understand why it's best selling. But apparently it has ingredients to stop dullness and oxidization of your makeup. And it helps with oil control, but it also moisturizes your skin at the same time, which is the only oxymoron I ever wanna hear, <laughs> to be honest. And all the ingredients are safe to use, so we love that. Here is the side with, wow, who am I? That's amazing. This is the side with the fairy peach setting powder on it and this is the side without so you can see like the creasing under my eyes you can see all my pores it's a huge difference it's a huge difference let me apply it under here as well so that i feel much better about <laughs> what i'm doing right here this is probably going honestly this is probably going to replace my old setting powder because it's just giving me a different type of look that i did not know I could achieve. That is insane. That's actually crazy. What's even crazier is the fact that I don't have to brush off any access because it all just went straight into my skin. And like we said before, this is a multifunctional palette. So I'm gonna go back in this palette and I'm gonna pick up number seven, the same shadow that I used for my eyes. And I'm actually gonna use it as a bronzer right now. She's cute. She's cute, she's doing what she needs to do. Okay. I love this color. I I love this color, wow. Do the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna use their Dual Blossom Glow Up Highlighter. This is one of the prettiest highlighters I've ever seen in my life. This is what the packaging looks like, gorgeous. But look at the actual highlighter itself. Beautiful, look at that. Look how pretty. It has this gorgeous 3D flower design. It's enriched with pearl ingredients. Let's try her on. A little bit on my cheek. Ooh! Okay, wait, hold on. This might be my new go-to highlighter. That is crazy, hold on. This is probably my new go-to. This is not probably, this is my new go-to highlighter. That is insane. A little more on this side, oh yes everything I've asked for in a highlighter right here. And then a bit on my nose. And I don't know what it is about me, but I like to put some highlight right here on my face. I feel like it just brings everything together. Okay, look at that. You can see your reflection in this one. It's super, super smooth, super seamless. And it's hiding my pores, like, that's crazy. And apparently it has apricot and peach petal ingredients. Either way, it feels super, super gentle, and it just brightened up my face. Like, I feel like I am a light bulb. This is everything I wanted. 
and a face is not complete without some blush and some lipstick so let's keep on going so i got two floral do care cream to powder blushes i got number four golden sand and number six rouge flowing cloud and again with the beautiful beautiful packaging so golden sand is this beautiful beautiful golden orange color Orange is a beautiful, beautiful blush for darker skin people. And then Rouge Flowing Cloud is this beautiful red mixed with gold inside of the pattern. I want to swatch both of them for you guys. So let's start with Golden Sand. Oh, that is gorgeous. And Rouge Flowing Cloud. Very, very, very pretty. I love them both, but I think I'm going to go with Golden Sand. You see that? You see how it's like not doing too much? Oh, this is really, really soft and silky though. These products just feel so luxurious. It has like a slight little glow to it, so it just adds to my highlight a little bit. Oh, I love this. And apparently this blush is not only waterproof, but also sweat resistant. We love that for her. Made from natural extracts from Peony Dew and rose water. And it has this really nourishing feeling when you apply it on your skin, almost like it's skincare. So it's almost like you're wearing makeup. And you're also nourishing your skin. It's still being moisturized and loved on, even though it's makeup. I actually have four lipsticks to show you guys. Let's start with these two big boxes here. Yes, these are lipsticks and you'll understand once I open them. Yes, this is a lipstick and all its glory. And this is just the packaging alone. You guys are not even prepared to see what the actual lipstick looks like. It's absolutely insane. This is Floresis Blooming Rouge Love Lock Lipstick. As you can see, there's a lock. And this is in the color M211 Vermilion. And to access the lipstick, you actually have to press the lock and the lipstick pops out just like that. But what's even crazier is what the actual lipstick looks like. You guys aren't ready. Is this not the most insane lipstick you've ever seen in your life? Obviously you can tell how beautiful this lipstick is, but love stories are actually carved onto this lipstick via Chinese traditional miniature relief carving craft. And as you can see, it's very, very detailed and it is art in my hands. Here's another one. It's a bit deeper of a red, but it has the same absolutely gorgeous engraving all, all over the lipstick. They also have this one. I wish you guys could see this one in person. The details are absolutely insane. And they also have the Blooming Rouge Porcelain, which is in this beautifully decorated porcelain lip tube and of course once again a absolutely stunning lipstick engravement design on this beauty that is insane and the details that you can see in person are crazy it's literally artwork. And I'm honestly so sad to do this because I just think these are gorgeous and should never be touched and they should never be used, but lipstick was made to be worn. So let's swatch them. This is M131, which is Sweet Love. Like there's even artwork on the tip of the lipstick. Like I do not want to swatch this, but I have to, I have to. Okay, that is a beautiful red. Now we're gonna try M211, which is vermilion. Mm, that has more of like an orange undertone, very cute. This is M117, AKA Limerence, also a gorgeous red. And we have M217, which is the porcelain. And there she is, she's like a brick brown red. Out of all these colors, I want to try the porcelain. First, I'm just going to line my lips with a basic brown lipstick. I'm putting M217 directly on my lip. Oh, that feels so smooth. Pretty! Oh, that's so cute! And there you go. That is my full look using all Floresis products. But you guys know me. You know how I am. I am not complete without my lashes. Although this mascara is gorgeous 
I'm gonna use it as a base to put on my falsies. And boom! This is the final look. Very soft, very simple, very to the point. I know we live in a world where people are doing their makeup and they have like 20 different colors on their eyelids, a white eyeliner, drawing flowers, and all these crazy amazing things, but I've always been a very, I lied, I haven't always been, but I'm starting to become a very subtle makeup person. Not too artsy, just soft, glowy, and I love it. I love this look. And I love these products. Floresis really did their thing. If you guys are interested in any of these products, which you should be because they are amazing, all of Floresis' information and all the products I use today are gonna be in the description box down below for your convenience. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite product that I used today was. And I know you're all gonna say the lipstick because the lipsticks are insane. I cannot get over them. But definitely check Floresis out, again, in the description box down below for all your makeup needs. I feel like a brand new person. I'm glowing, like this highlight is crazy. I don't know if the camera is picking up what I'm seeing in the mirror, but I am literally a sunset goddess right now. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both of them will be in the description box down below as well. I love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles.